Since around 94. I want cold. I didn't get cold till probably around 98, 99, you know. And I started meeting a lot of different people, you know, all around. I done been from Cavalini's on back to Jackson Park, all you know, all through the city dancing, man. You know, play made a name in my high school, you know. That's where it really started for me in high school. How it started for me as far as that goes is uh I was in House Somatics first. And then I went to K59, U5U. I been to a lot of dance groups as far as crew go. I always been uh, in Wolfpack. The question is how long I've been good? <laughs> or, nah, I started dancing. Well, I had the passion to start dancing when I was 12. And I, I got good when I was about 17, though. It took a little while. I got, I got burnt a lot of times. You know, I understand why the people who think they good be winning. Cause I, I used to do that too, got to the best and get in the car, be hyped up, like, yeah, we just killed. We just, you know what I'm saying? I didn't understand what it was until I really had to, that's when I met Ann Darion and all that, they really sat and explained certain steps to me, cause we was just doing them and didn't know what they was called. Well, at first uh, I was dancing at uh, Markham's Game Work. I really didn't know how to footwork and stuff, and I just knew how to pop and whip, and uh, I bumped into my cousin and uh, his friend, Reggie, and I learned really from them. I used to dance, you know, but it, it wasn't, I used to do it for the girls, though. It was like everybody around here, you know, I used to be, well, in this neighborhood, the only group was around was second to none. So I was like cool, Melinda and all them, and they just, you know, had a little junior squad, we used to dance with them. But we, we used to do like birthday parties, they, we wasn't never really good enough to do the real dance dance, because people, the best groups we were so, you know, we wasn't, we wasn't ready. But I just wanted to get to the part where it just showed you solo. Like, that's all I really wanted to do. And then I just, Kind of took myself out of that and started going to market skating rink and I started seeing people. I didn't know who they was, you know what I'm saying? But I was going to go at myself and watch and go home. Like, yeah, I'm going to take that move, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that's what's called biting. So I didn't know that at the time I'd come to party and do somebody's same move out of me without them. Like, that's mine. I'd be like, it's anybody's. You know what I'm saying? They were like, nah, they took time. I understand what they were saying with it. I don't really like to like dance like everybody else. I try to choose my own my own way of style and dancing and uh, I just really created my own probably about like probably about a year or two ago. I'm more like simple. I'm I'm really simple because I I don't like to be doing all that extra stuff, that's not really me. Actually, the first circle I, I was in, I lost to a female because she did a split on me and won. 
Me, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I got some of everybody in me, but my moves are like kind of based. Like, based kind of like me, because I dance aggressive. I dance more aggressive than everybody else. Everybody else kind of smooth, you know. I, I probably ride to be a little faster than everybody else and then slow down and catch it back on. My style, it's a different style from everybody, you know. I come from this umbrella, this guy named Ant Brown. I don't know if y'all familiar, y'all probably heard of him, whatever. And, uh, he taught a lot of people, you know, in our camp. People from like Wolfpack, people from the tunnel, people from TS. You know, it was basically like he taught people a style and uh, basically everybody really put they put they kick to it and uh, changed it up, you know. And that's how everybody made their name. You know, any everybody in Red Legends out of one of them, you know, you either got Taliban or they was talking about Wolfpack. Somebody was talking about somebody under the umbrella. Really, it started from Ant. He didn't want to really talk. Some of us who was in Wolfpack or Red Legends, he really taught all of us pretty much his style of and his other guys' style of dancing. It started from them, like Michael, Dre, all of them, and then they sort of picked us up along the way. So if they like you, then you get invited. If they don't like you, then it ain't gonna happen. Now that I think about it, um, it was around that time, it was like majority like popping, juking, me, um, a lot of other people, you know, Steve was trying to come up in the game or whatever. After, you know, I went through initiates trying to get in Wolfpack, but, you know, I, I didn't fully make it all the way through. Uh, we had a little circumstance, but me and Trisha, you know, me and Steve used to go. We met, like, Charles. Well, y'all, y'all called Ken Charles. Charles and Manny and Raymond and all of us just kind of made a little inside click called, you know, TS Uptown. T-shirts and you just you dance and as soon as you do a move that was your team cheer so you are you know you automatically thought you was killing the difference back then the music was slower like we got taught out off of all slow tracks like just perform the craft you know perfect it master it so y'all were dancing to like Dion and all that yeah. stuff too yeah and uh you know it, you had a lot of basics that you were showing you know we was taught if you didn't know basics you didn't know what you was doing you know and uh, basically, hey, a lot of these new guys, they don't do basics. I don't know what the hell they doing, <laughs> be honest with you. But, I mean, they like it, you know. I understand things change, but, man, a lot of this stuff is like, it's out of control. It's whack to me, you know. A lot of people that sit up there, they didn't, the Internet didn't really change the game because you could be who you want to be on the Internet. I can call myself right now. I can say I made up footwork. If you don't, don't, don't come from this culture, you would think I made up footwork. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's so many stories to it, but I think the internet really, it really damaged the game, to be honest with you. Like some of these guys don't know about walking a dog. Like the walk the dog is pretty much a ghost built in, which you just really pretty much, you, you walking. Walking a ghost is like you pretty much let your hand control your every movement, so you like walking a dog. Like when you walking your dog, it's pretty much your dog is leading you and you just holding your hand. So you walking a dog, it's like a glad, Skate or whatever you want it to be, you just walk on the dog. That's walking the dog. Or uh, the ergs or the, you know, certain crossovers or drops. Really, like, people who I came up with really created all that. Because half of these guys be doing the, the swim dances. I don't, I don't get into all that. And the first footwork move that anybody ever taught me was the the earth. When you learn how the earth is just a right, left, right, left, and then once you learn to right, left, right, left, you gotta learn to walk over, back to the other side, and walk over. So them is them the earth. And um uh, yeah like the ghost which was 
another form of saying you like how you bang, but it's just a ghost. Just is something simple for you to learn, it's just a ghost. Just pretty much gliding and sliding your feet. And uh like drops, just pretty much to help you really get your get your breath back a little bit, learn how to pause, just gotta stand still, you know what I'm saying, make them look foolish. You know what I'm saying? Um uh, it's a lot of moves you can learn, but I really like the herbs, because this really give me a lot of so I can catch my breath, because I'm old now, so yeah, I need that so I catch my breath. Rest in peace be up. I used to always get into it with him in high school. He like, what your irk said? I'm like, what is you talking about? Like, I did not know nothing he was talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I had to really get brought in and I started seeing exactly what the steps was. From them telling me and me learning from hands-on people who've been dancing way before me. So this is like the kind of help giving back to like how they gave me to explain what certain steps is. You know, so people just doing it that want it for it, even around the world, even in Chicago. Cause people ain't, some people just, you know what I'm saying? Too stubborn to come ask, like, hey, hey, what's this called? Or am I doing this right? You know, so now everybody want to do it their own way instead of doing it the way that it, it's cool to change it, but certain footwork, you can have your own moves, but footwork should just always stay how it always be. Well, I'm going to go from old to new. I'm just going to demonstrate certain stuff that's how, how it used to be done old and then how it's done now. So, first step, I'm going to show you uh, the skates. This is how the old skates used to be. Now people, now people might with the skates now. You know what I'm saying? So we changed that, and then that. So, uh, the new era, now it used to be the basic crossovers. Now people. You know what I'm saying? They changed it, let me go. You know, it's kind of like a van. So I used to be like, oh, run the men. That's these. Now it used to be the old mics. Had people. They switched all up. It's like everything really got kind of similar to change. It used to be, you know, so many old moves. Now people. You know, so many ways. Like everything evolved for good, but not always good. So it's like some of the stuff should stay the same, and some of the stuff <laughs> should get trashed. On the outside, when you like looking in, that's looking like this how we dance up. But that's not. Mm. Like people do all this, grab their face, and they think that's how we dance. We went to LA, that's all they was doing. I studied y'all, I studied for work. Y'all was doing all this. I'm like, we don't do nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's good for the world to see it, but it's good for the world to actually hear from people who really been doing it before it kind of went commercial. Yeah, I don't see a lot of crazy styles coming up since like for a while now, like really to be honest, when we left the scene, footwork went to a whole, a whole different standpoint. That's like when Jay Z left, and you have all these other artists. It's like okay, it's cool that y'all coming up, but y'all not following the proper rules or proper techniques to really call yourself a king or you a, a footworker. Because to me, for you to even call yourself a king. You must knock down every soldier to become a king. And a lot of these people who, oh, I'm a king this, I'm a king that, you ain't knocked down no, no, no cold soldiers to become or call yourself a king. <laughs> I mean, I feel these little guys, man, these guys need to pay homage, real talk. They know who did what. You know, a lot of people <coughs> try to say, uh, well, I ain't, I didn't go, I didn't uh, go this way, I didn't go the way. No, y'all know who did what. Y'all know who been around forever. Y'all know what's going on. Y'all heard it. So don't just try to step into the game and then say, you doing it. You know, it, no, it's a, it's a team. We stay as a team. You know what I'm saying? We all from different crews, but Red Legends, we still go with them one umbrella. You know, back then, hey, all of us used to battle against each other, and it was only us. 
as far as battle clicks, now it's all battle clicks right now, but back then it was dance groups. You only had a couple of battle clicks up until what? I want to say 99. It was only us two. It was only up, like it was on, well, the dungeon started off, but the dungeon ain't battle nobody. Then it was only Wolfpack Tunnel. I want to say Gutter Thugs, but they ain't really battle nobody. What about the firm? Firm, okay, yeah, I forgot about the firm. But that wasn't really even no bad crew because the yeah. firm was an all brand version of, of uh, House of Magic. Yep. Yeah. yeah, so it's like we started under that umbrella, man. We started some shit, and they really like you got it. You we get the right to uh, earn legend title. You know, look how many do you hear people talking about? They starting dance groups now. No, there's no more dance groups. Everything to turn to battle because everybody wanted to be full workers. Personally, I didn't. I tried the dance group thing. I started off a final phase. I didn't like the shit. Right. Yep. I ain't on that pop shape. I ain't, I ain't on no hip rolling or none of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. But no, nah, that shit was like, it wasn't right, man. You know, so I'm like, man, we got to go ahead and do something else. Fuck all the bullshit. So all that's fucking the game up? Oh, man, please. That shit need to be separate. All... Oh man, I don't even want to talk about so, that shit. <laughs> so the rest of the world's seeing all this stuff, like hip roll and next why is that and considering it. Okay, that's why I was gonna say why is that consider considered footwork? That should be considered footwork from when I hear a hip roll is starting to Detroit somewhere. Take that shit back over there, man. We ain't got time for that shit up here. We don't do that. 